Today I'm making rainbow cookies. I'm skipping the actual mixing the dough part so y'all can see the really fun part. The first thing you want to do is get all your dough out of your bowl. I doubled my recipe because I have four little siblings and I know these cookies are going to be gone in a flash. The recipe says to refrigerate the dough, but it hardened to the bowl, so I had a bit of trouble extracting it. So by this point, you should have approximately a small child of dough. What I did to measure out the proper proportions was weigh my small child and divide it into 19 sections. 19 because I want to make my rainbows into little arcs like real rainbows, which means purple will be the smallest and red will be the biggest, right? Well, when you start out with one section for purple, two for blue, three for green, four for yellow, five for orange, and six for red, you get equal parts of all the colors. And looking at a real rainbow, it's my opinion they're not quite all the same size. So I adjust my numbers just a little bit so they look more realistic. Like, red isn't so big compared to orange, and green isn't so big compared to blue. You'll see. 19 sections in total. Now, the coloring part definitely took the longest and got my hands the dirtiest. Lots of fun! I use the gel colors my mom's had for ages. We use them for cake decorating a lot. They're one of those luxury items I'm probably not going to last very long away from home without. I like making colorful foods, especially because I live with little kids who really appreciate it. Although I don't know why anybody wouldn't appreciate beautiful food. It's always a struggle trying to make all the colors look perfectly uniform, especially when I colored all the different parts separately like this. I had to mash the sections together for even more time because some of the sections got more dye than others. I made a snake of purple for the middle and just started layering the other colors on top of that, flat and then rolling them up at the sides, until I got a big old snake of dough. It honestly was like a child's fantasy of edible Play-Doh. This was the most fun part. At the end, it looked like a gigantic slug, mostly. I'd had the dough out of the fridge for long enough to, for it to start having issues, I noticed. Maybe next time will be faster so it won't get patchy, and so that the sections will adhere to each other a little bit better next time. Actually, my littlest brother asked if this roll was a giant shrimp. I said yes, and he believed me. Then to move it, I had to use a huge cookie tray, otherwise it'd flop all over the place. I wrapped it up in saran wrap and put it in the fridge, and it was all ready to go. Now comes the big reveal. Did they come out like good rainbows? I think they did. Perfectly Instagrammable. I used a Betty Crocker recipe called Acorn Cookies. I looked for it on the internet, but all I found was this variation. I'm putting the link in the description. I got mine out of a old red book that my mother has, but it's basically the same recipe, except it uses mint extract instead of almond extract. Ta-da! Hey Stanley, do you like them? They taste like cookies.